I am so excited for this video, you have no idea. There's nothing much happening in this video, but I did get a new POV camera and a lot of people have been asking me, how are you taking your videos? Well, I'll go into that too. Small disclaimer, if you're new here, I do not review cameras. I am not a gear channel. If you want to learn about the specifics of certain cameras, please go support other creators who actually spend their time doing their research and talking about them because me, I don't do that here. With that being said, the original POV camera I've been using is this Insta360 GO 2. It's fairly small. It also comes with a little magnetic necklace where you can have your camera on your body, on your hat, car, anywhere. The biggest problem with this is that the battery life is trash. There is a new version that I didn't get because I wasn't too satisfied with this camera to begin with. Not to mention, this is less than a year old and the case started cracking. And the other thing I didn't like about this camera is that yes, it is an action camera, but sometimes when you have this blinking white thing on your body, people are gonna look at it and go, what are you doing? Is it a body cam? And here comes the next thing. I got the Raven Meta. This isn't sponsored. I bought this with my own money and I like it a lot. So you turn on the power button on the side and when it turns on, there's a little sound and it tells you the battery percentage. Okay, now it's connected. So I'm gonna say the command and it's gonna take a picture. Hey Meta, take a picture. It also announces your text messages, you can reply back. There is a camera right over here and it captures pretty much everything you see from your eye level. I just took a picture by accident. And I got to go out for a photo walk with this in Seattle a couple weeks ago. There are not many big downsides to this for now, but something I noticed is that because I'm so used to having my camera on my body, whenever I do POV videos, I always have my camera kind of down here so it shows on the screen. But when I have this on, the camera for the glasses, it's up here. So I have to move my camera kind of high up here, which sometimes doesn't really work for the angles I want to capture, but I think that's just something that I need a little bit more time getting used to. Now, when you take a video... Hey Meta, start recording. It only captures in this very specific orientation. Before I purchased this, I got in touch with Raven Meta on Instagram, and they told me I'm able to capture it vertically, horizontally, and then crop later too. But the only option that I get on the app is a 4x5 square. And because the main purpose of this is for YouTube, I have to crop out quite a lot of pixels, a lot of graphics from the original video, but the quality isn't too bad. It's just so freaking cool. This might be the most exciting piece of technology I purchased in a very long time. Now back to the content we're all familiar with. I was in Seattle for a few days and because the weather calls for rain, I knew I wanted to go outside and take some pictures. A few things I was looking for were people walking in the rain, something a little vibrant. Because of the rain, it was just gloomy there and I thought I could use a person wearing a yellow raincoat, a red sweater, just something that pops out in the picture. And also, because I live in LA and I don't really get to experience the changing of seasons, I wanted to capture fall in its truest moment. I think we all know that I don't like to photograph a lot of touristy places. But even if I do, I want to add a little bit of my own spin to it. This isn't that unique. What I actually wanted to do was to capture a person's reflection. On the right side, we have this sign that says farmer's market and it's being reflected onto the ground because of the rain. I wanted to capture the reflection of a person who was crossing the street, but for some odd reason, that didn't come out too well. Instead, I decided to play around with the shutter speed and got this picture. Something I ended up doing quite a bit here was capturing all the merchants. This was around 7 a.m. when they were just starting their day, so not a lot of tourists are around. I wanted to take advantage of the empty space and capture merchants preparing to start their day.
This is the one photo I would never take. I know I talked about reflections a few minutes ago, but this kind of water reflection photo, if it's done in a tasteful way, it's really nice to look at. But when it comes to something like this, it kind of looks like a photography 101 homework assignment. I try to make it more me by adding the cyclist in the picture, but still, I'm still trying to figure out why I took this. Something I always tell myself that I want to do, but I don't do enough of, is taking these detailed pictures. I'm at a cafe here, I have a whole picture here. I have a bigger picture of this place on the left. On the right, I have my drink showing a little detail of what I'm doing there. This could be done at a restaurant. It could be the entire restaurant that I'm at and showing a dish or the silverware. Or it could even be my apartment here. I could show you my living room and maybe focus on the cat or this rubber plant that has a mind of its own. So a big picture and a detail. That diptych is something I always want to do, but I just don't end up doing. I'm not sure why. I think I say this in every single video, but this really is my number one favorite this year. There's a photographer named Jeremy Page. He goes by Eaten by Flowers on Instagram, and the very first photograph I saw by him was his car accident. This photo made a huge impact on me that I was getting a little angry. I was so angry that I have never been able to capture something so disturbing like this. Not disturbing in a way where this accident happened, but this is the epitome of the right place at the right time. The fact that he had his camera on him when he was crossing this place and right below him, this lady was also looking at him. This to me is such a crazy photograph. Now back to this not so dramatic, but something I'm very happy with, his car broke down. That's not a happy moment to capture, but just looking at it, I knew I wanted to do some kind of long exposure here. Nothing too crazy, maybe something like one fourth of a second to show the movement of the cars and just him being still there. This picture isn't as dramatic and it doesn't have that much story to it like Jeremy Page's photos do. But to me, this was an attempt at a moment that I simply did not want to miss. On one of the days I was in Seattle, it got really sunny around sunset. You knowing me and me knowing me, I wanted to do some shadow pictures.
This is that one picture where I wish I had a little bit more time for that one shot. What I really wanted, kind of similar to the reflection picture from earlier in the video, I wanted to have someone either approach the escalator or just simply walk across the library. That reflection, I think, would have been so cool, especially with the light in the back. So it could have been just a black silhouette walking by with another black silhouette reflection. But I was losing sun and I was kind of on a time crunch, so maybe I'll get it the next time I'm there. I normally would never take sunset pictures like this. When I took the left picture, I thought it was kind of boring. There's nothing to it. It doesn't really scream fall. It doesn't really scream sunset either. But when I moved my camera down a little bit, I noticed the sidewalk and I could capture details of people walking towards the water. And with the sunlight hitting the trees, this actually feels a little more fall than the left picture. I just realized this person on the left, that could be a frame of its own. I know there are a lot of photos in this video, and I know that I didn't really go into details of certain pictures that you might be wondering about, but let me know what you think about the new POV camera. I have a feeling that I might be using this on certain days, but most of the time, I'm gonna be using the glasses. I'll see you next week.